M0FXB. So let's have a go at programming our 7900 using Chirrup. And we also have a programming cable that looks like this. Now we've downloaded Chirrup, just click get it and download it. And then you'll end up with a window that looks like this. So let's follow instructions. So we'll go radio, download from radio. We'll select this COM13. Now we'll go right click, device manager. And when the cable is plugged in, it said 13. There it is there, Silicon Labs 13. Okay, so that's all good. It's Yesu and it's a 7, 800 or 900. We'll click OK. And then we're going to follow the instructions. Turn off the radio. Uh, connect the data jack we've done it's like a the back the data is like a six pin jack that goes in the back right by the power just be careful the plastic nuggly bit is at the bottom it's a bit like plugging in an old-fashioned mouse uh, press and hold the megahertz key then turn on the radio so the megahertz key is the one up here look on the left so we'll do that we'll let that come on if it's correct, you'll get an option to cycle through from one to seven. So we'll just do it again. We didn't hold it long enough. That's it. Then cycle through to number seven, which is clone mode. Just uh, get this on the screen. Then it says, rotate the dial to seven, hold the band set key. You hold it down and the radio reboots. And then after that, to make it read the radio, you have to hold down VMMW button, which is, let's have a look up here, to the right of the middle button or to the right of band set. So it's right there. Hold down that. If it doesn't work first time, just do it again because um, it can be glitchy. Okay, and then we've clicked it. Now, I've tested this with another program and it worked fine, but it, it wouldn't let me, there's a G4, is it CHQ program? But it wouldn't let me write it back to the radio unless I paid, <laughs> and I didn't want to pay. So, just do this live, drinking cups of tea here. Now the 7900, 7800, lovely radio. What I like about them is the way that all the buttons are on the front and it, it lights up bright red, and it's got some cool features in there like ARTS for, for you know, talking to people that are or contacting people that are near you, and then it sends back and forth whether you're in range of each other or out of range. I find that cool, and it's just a very nice looking, older style Yesu radio. The new version would be the FT6000. Right, so we've read the radio. No errors at the moment, and it does tell you sort of turn the radio on and off. I think, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a channel here. Try and send it as we are and see if it just lets me send it without having to push the VM button. So we'll just go double click. Okay, that's too much my fault. So click it once. Start typing the frequency. Right. I'm going to do this without getting errors. I just need to familiarize myself with this software. So you click it once, then click again. Now you can type the frequency. So we're going to go 430.825. This is GB3. Let's do 925. That's FI. 25 GB3FI. We'll give it a name. GB3FI. Tone. We will select tone. Tone squelch. I think it's 77 that repeater. No DCSS code, but we do need a tone. We've got tone. Ah, so that should be tone tone we need there. So tone, tone squelch, notice that duplex we want plus. And it's 7.60. Just put a seven there. And then six, pretty sure it is anyway. FM, and we'll leave the power high. Anyhow, there's one channel now. If you look here, there are other things you can look at. So, special channels, show empty, properties, 
Not really showing much. On the other software, it did show quite a lot. Properties, show empty, special channels. Where's the settings? Upload from radio, download from radio, import, columns, edit. I can't see the settings. We can save if we want. Properties here. I'm just looking to see if I can see the actual settings of the radio. View columns, radio, import. You can import stock files. Look, look at that. You've got marine, US calling. That's quite good, isn't it? wonder if you can import from repeater book. Oh, look, repeater book. Oh, let's try it. Repeater book proximity. Location. Let's put Western to per MR. Just do 10 mile. No, I better do 20 because you never know. 20. Uh, or really, let's just do 70 centimeters. That's the ones I have to use. Click OK. Yeah, it looks like it does do that. So now the next trick is how do we add them? But that's really good that it does that, isn't it? Can we copy? Let's try. I bet you there is a way of copying. So you can move them around as you just saw me do there. Copy. Is there a control? Copy is control C. Let's try that then. Control C. No, it's just copy. Copy paste. Ah, select all. Aha. Copy. And then we'll go back to my thing, go at the bottom in the memories. Untitled. Go right click, paste. Unable to paste eight memories into one rows, <laughs> of course. So how can I expand this row? No, we need to go. Let's go back to memories. Right, so I clicked show empty at the top. Show empty. Like so. And it, you get this window there where you can see all the rows. So let's click at the top and paste. Uh, so it looks like you could probably paste one at a time. So we just cancel. Isn't that funny how it pasted a, a digital frequency? Paste. So let's go back. Oh, I see what it was because it one channel was digital. So forget the digital channel. We're going to select all. And then can we unselect that? We just don't want to select that one there. So I get it. So let's just do, because I've got a digital one there, I need to sort of remove that. That's messing up. But let's just select one for now then. Copy. And you've got your repeaters. Just copy and paste them across. You go to show empty, click here, and then paste. Oh, it's still showing the digital thing. Not really sure why. But anyway, once you work out how to do it, because I don't really use programming software, then go radio, upload to radio, com13, click OK, and then we've got instructions again. So it's exactly the same. And this time it says receive will appear on the display. So let's try it. And it's in clone mode already. So I'm just going to press and hold band set. Ah, hang on a minute. What does it say here? Press the low ACC key will appear on the display. So you don't spend s s select band set. You select low ACC. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, receivers appeared. Click OK. Yeah, and it's cloning to the radio. Well, we did manage to get GB3FI in there. 
So it's one of those things, just play around, learn the software. This is just showing you the process how to do it. And then we'll, we'll go to channel 27 and make sure it's there. And that's it. Okay, well it's all should be in there. Let's restart. We'll go to memory mode and then turn to 27. There it is there, that's the one I programmed in. Let's just see if we can access that repeater. Just quickly uh, key the mic. There you are, accessing it no problem at all. Well, thanks for watching my channel, catch you on Air 73. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're finding this helpful. Bye for now.